You're used to seeing severe weather knock out power lines from time to time. But LPNL says that with graduation and other celebrations this time of year, another power outage culprit is Mylar balloons. KMAX Tori Larned here now to show us a problem we probably haven't thought of. LPNL says this is a very popular time of year for people to buy Mylar balloons, but when they release them into the air as a sort of celebration, they say you actually shouldn't do that because if they get caught in the line, this is what can happen. And those balloons will float up into the lines, and because they're metal based and they're conductors, they can cause an outage that can knock out a pretty good area. Two power outages in just one week, knocking out power to more than 2,000 customers, all caused by Mylar balloons. Something like that can not only knock out power to your home, but it can knock out power to the entire neighborhood. Matt Rose with LPNL says it takes time to get the power restored. Say a balloon gets in the line, causes damage, and it knocks that line out. Is they try to isolate the source of the damage, we'll try to move customers you know, to other circuits, try to get their power back up as we repair that equipment. Robbie Bunch, the owner of Balloons by the Bunch, says that they warn customers of this before they walk out the door. We tell them that you can't release them because they conduct electricity, and on most of the Mylar balloons, it is written on the balloon. While LPNL does have a budget to make these repairs, for the sake of your neighbors, Rose says it's best to keep Mylar balloons out of the air. We want to make sure that we get the power up as quickly and safely as possible. LPNL says another common reason for outages is actually wildlife, but they say their equipment is built to take every precaution that they can. Reporting from LPNL, I'm Tori Larned, KMAC News.